it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and Bruce and Carl have left for home now, they left 10 minutes or so ago. I thought I'd sit down and have another coffee. I'll uh, slowly pack up here and um, I'll head down for the mouth of um, Broke Inlet, which I haven't been able to get to before. With the drizzle overnight, the um, the sand should be pretty hard anyway, one would think. And guess what? I'm recording this on my wireless go, which luckily for me, resolved its uh, flooding issue last night. So that was a good score. Here I am now, about 23 kilometres to the mouth. No idea what the uh, track conditions are like. Only one way to find out, I guess. Let's do it. Broke inlet. So far, so good. Probably another 15 k's to go to the mouth of the inlet. manuals like uh, wearing an old glove. I haven't driven a manual for four years but uh, it's actually not too bad to drive off road. Might be a nice little place to camp one day. Might be a nice place to camp tonight in fact. I don't have any plans where I'm gonna end up tonight so Cool. It's a bit snaky, doesn't it? It's a bit of a ramshackle old shack. I don't know uh, how much you're going to see. It's pretty dark in here, but still pretty cool. Well then, I'd be a goose. I started using the wireless go this morning, uh, thinking that I had it all operational and uh, I just got around to the passenger seat of the car and realised I hadn't plugged the cable in, so it's just been recording on standard camera audio. Now we're plugged in. Uh, we're probably a couple of k's, maybe three, from the mouth of Broke Inlet. See the um, the inlet itself funnels down into a narrow stream. You can see a sand bank up the end there. Guess and just around that corner a bit further is going to be the mouth. But that's what she looks like looking back towards Campfield. Pretty cool. We've made it. The mouth of Broke Inlet hasn't joined the sea, but it's, um, it's a little bit wild out there today. Now 
That's the mouth, just there. How cool. Awesome, so I just had a, uh, a lunch of peri peri chips and a curry chicken pie, hard to beat, but it's uh, one o'clock, I'm, go I'm going to head for Mansum up now I think, Let's see if we can get through this soft sand. Not a worry. <clears throat> I saw this shed or something when I come through earlier. Didn't come down here. I just figured it was a deep or um, shed, but no, it's not. It's a designated camping spot. If it wasn't for the fact that uh, I needed to drop into Mandra tomorrow and I wanted to be a bit closer to home, I might have even considered it. Oh, well, so it's taking me about an hour from um, the Broke Inlet mouth and I'm back to the start. Time to air up the tyres and head for Manjumup. Well, it's five o'clock in the afternoon, 50 k's north of Manji now. I'm going to go check out a little campsite here at Greenbushes. No, nothing about it. Never been here before. Uh, we'll see what it's all about, eh? Oh, it's about an hour before sundown now. And um, I've made my way to this place. Just out from Greenbushes. Greenbushes Pool. Pretty little place. Oh, it's just an average campground. You can probably hear... Um, there's a mine going in the background, so it's going to be a noisy night, but um, I'm set up for the night now, so it's all good. Hopefully, uh, now the sun's out, it's actually quite warm. Hopefully I can get all my awnings and stuff dry for the morning, so that'll be fantastic. 
And that, my friends, with the mining juggernaut making a racket in the background is Green Bush's pool. Give me some curry so I've been uh, looking for a little pine tree I've been down in all that crap down there and all over the place can't can't find this bloody case I went and had a look at the clues and it said uh, one of the person wrote well they had trouble looking for a little pine tree and it's just cut up now so I remember seeing this, I thought I'd come back here and have a look. Saw that pine cone sitting on top of the log and I went, hmm, that looks like a bit of a clue to me. So I come down here to this, what ain't a pine tree. And looky what I found. Got it. All right. Time to sign the logbook, pack up camp. We'll go to um, bailing up. We'll knock off a couple more. On my way into bailing up to um, knock off a couple of cases, uh, the case owner who I've met, I promised her I'd uh, come through some stage, but there's one on the way that we go have a look. The clue for this one is uh, have some respect, don't put your hands there. Oh, hmm. Let's see what's... Oh. Fancy that. Pretty easy find, eh? So after an hour in bailing up, unsuccessfully trying to find a cache, it was time for home. Seven days on the road had come to an end. Just like to um, thank Bruce and Carl for coming along. It was a great trip. Lots of good laughs. And um, thanks for watching as well, guys. We'll um, catch you on the next one, eh? Till then, be good. Bye for now.